Welcome back advanced design students. In this video we're going to continue working on our uh, character. We're going to unwrap the hands and that shouldn't take very long. It is a little tedious just simply because there is uh, a lot of difficult edge loops to select. But once we get into it it shouldn't be that hard. The first thing I want to show you is that uh, if you select the 3D cut and sew tool and it comes up in your toolbar right here you can double click it and bring up its settings. And in the settings are some useful things, one of which is that you can change the color of the line here. I changed mine to bright green. You just click on the swatch and the default is white. You can change it to whatever color you want. I changed mine to bright green. And also right here, there is a whole list of all the keyboard shortcuts and things that you can do with this tool, which is very useful. So let's get started on the hands. The first thing you need to do is go to the UV toolkit Select your 3D Cut and Sew tool. You can do that from the menu here. And then I want you to turn on Symmetry, Object X, so that anything we do to this one side will be copied to the other. And I want to show you that I have already done a good part of this here. I didn't want you to have to watch me do, do too much of it, but you can see that I've traced this edge all the way around and it goes in between the fingers and around the ends and you should try to follow the same basic edge flow and I have the 3D cut and sew tool selected I'm just going to continue this I'm going to start by double clicking this edge and that will follow the loop down to this point and I'll double click it again and again and again and again and I just keep double clicking now if you double click and unintentionally select a loop then you need to just check now and then and be sure that you haven't unintentionally selected something. I'm just going to continue on this side and then right here between the fingers I'm just going to click and drag like so and like so. And now I've gone all the way around and you should check again and make sure that you haven't inadvertently added any loops to your selection should also check in the UV layout view that the loops have copied to the other side. If they didn't, then you need to start over again and make sure you have Object X symmetry turned on. Once we get that done, then we can begin to work on the UVs of the hand. Let's begin by turning off the 3D Cut and Sew tool. I'm just going to select the Select tool. Let's turn off symmetry and go to the UV selection mode and click on the top of the hand. And then we're going to project this UV in the Y direction. And we can do that right here by clicking this and then we can select this one and do the same thing. All right, select both of them, scale them down using the scale tool and then move them over. And they look a little distorted, so I'm going to scale them a little bit like so. And then we can separate them. And then we can take these changes and use the Symmetrize tool again to port them to the other side. We just simply have to select an edge along the center axis of our character. And if something like this happens, then we can go to the UV vertex mode and select that vertex and put it back into place. These will probably have to be straightened out later anyway when we apply this to the texture. And then we can return to the UV shell mode and grab these and scale them both down a little bit more and move them out of the way. And when we come back in the next video, we're going to go ahead and uh, cut the rest of the seams around the body. And then we will begin to unfold the rest of the mesh. And I'll see you then.